have this shop where it's been here for 200 years, um, it's more important to keep it alive than whatsoever, not just the trade itself, but the history of this shop. I realize that's my love, blacksmithing. People say, why don't you go on vacation? I said, I do, in the shop. There's my love, there's my joy. It's romantic in a way that you're working this old trade, you know, from fire to iron to beautiful products. I can't explain it, you know, it's, it's and I really think, I think deeply about it all the time, but it's just, it feels great. I feel like I'm paying homage to the blacks before me that were here. And I think their spirits are happy the shop's still, the fire's still burning in the forge. Here, we have the spirit of the former owners, and we want to raise that up. The spirit continually goes on and on. And to me, that's very, very important. You're getting dirty, you're getting hot, you're sweating, you're possibly getting burned. You're doing with coal, which is a dirty product. You have to, your hands are filthy. At the end of the day, my body hurts. Um, but if I go a couple days without doing it, I hurt more mentally than I'm not being able to. The fact the pain from forging all these years is nothing compared to the pain of not mentally doing it. We didn't choose it, it chose us. We're just at the end of the day, we're just a. No, dirty bunch of blacksmiths that like playing with fire and playing with metal.